Right, folks, um, this isn't a review. This is a uh, bit of a cry for help. Um, me and the wife, right, uh, we like going around um, charity shops and house clearance shops. Uh, there's a couple in Leicester. And, uh, well, there's one in Loughborough, there's one in Leicester, and we found another one in Leicester off Abbey Lane. Or is it Abbey Road? Whichever one the Beatles don't sing about or make records at, it's that one. And uh, it's Abbey Lane, isn't it? Abbey Lane in Leicester, yeah. And uh, it's opposite uh, the newly built Asda. It's called Ritz, R-I-T-Z. And um, what it is, it's a... Uh, like an arts and crafts place with antique stuff thrown in. And what's happened is we went in the other day and I, I, I love a box, right? I love, I love a box, uh, a trinket box, that kind of thing. I love, I don't know why, I'm just attracted to a box. And I've been in and I went in and uh, I found this, right? I don't know how old it is. So this is, this is basically what I'm asking for. This is the help I'm asking for. I don't know what it is, uh, how old it is, uh, what it's made of. I mean, that looks a bit like a walnut tortoise shell. I don't, I honestly don't know. Um, it's from Live Upcycle Hinkley. Um, there's nothing actually on it that says anything about, well, there's that bit there that says Hinkley Upcycling. Uh, live upcycle Inkley. Um, there's, there's nothing on it that tells me where it is, what it's from, who made it, or anything like that. And anyway, it took me ages to try and get in, and I still couldn't get in after trying it. So I had to ask the bloke who was selling it. And what you do is you just turn it, and then you get your four, your little boxes that come out. And I love it, absolutely love it. It cost me the grand total of 10 pounds, 10 British pounds. And um, so the wife's brought it home, we've polished it up, um, and I honestly don't know anything else about it. Uh, the hinges don't look particularly old, but I don't know what is what is actually old, old, old about it. I don't, I don't honestly know. So if there's anybody out there, in the Blue Van Man Army, Blue Van Man Army, what's all that about? Um, if there's anybody out there in in the land that can tell me a little bit more about this, um, I'd be really, really grateful. Um, it, it's just, it just caught my eye, and I just love the way it works. It's, is that brilliant or what? It's absolutely, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I just wish I knew a little bit more about it. So if there is anybody who can point me in the right direction uh, to finding something out about my box, um, it'd be much appreciated. Okay, folks. Um, if you do help me out, I thank you now. Uh, if you don't help me out and you can't help me out, fair enough. At least you've listened, you've watched, and you've, um, you never know. But it's lovely, isn't it? So basically what I'm saying is, folks, um, give these places a chance. You might find, I've got some other stuff upstairs uh, in the loft. I buy pictures um, that I think just might be worth something in the future. Uh, the more of an investment for my child uh, so that when I'm dead and gone, they can sell them and hopefully make a bit of money out of it. That That's the idea, you know. I'm not expecting it to be some kind of Dell Boy pocket watch, you know, but if if I do buy these things and then I hide them in the loft and then they I do when I do die, um, they sell them on and make money out of it, and then that's brilliant. That's that's the whole idea. Um, but uh, yeah, if somebody can just point me in the right direction what this is or where I can find some advice out, I'll be much appreciated. Okay, folks, laters.